Let's have a look at class example 2.13. We're given a function p of x equal to negative x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 7x squared plus 15x minus 18. We're asked to determine some features without a graphing calculator. So let's start with the start and end behavior of the graph. Here we have a degree 4 polynomial, meaning it is even, and we have a negative, lead co uh, negative leading coefficient of negative 1. So we know that both arms will be in the same direction, and because that uh, leading coefficient is negative, that direction will be down. So formally, we would say that the graph starts negative in quadrant 3 and ends negative in quadrant 4. Because we have a degree 4 polynomial, we have a maximum of four possible x-intercepts. But because it is an even degree polynomial, it is possible for us to not have any. Because we are an even degree polynomial, we will have a max or min point. The reason we have a maximum point here is because our graph opens down. Uh, that means that we will go down as far as negative infinity, but we will somewhere have an absolute maximum. This is a polynomial function. That means that the domain is unrestricted, so it's all the real numbers. Our y-intercept is given away by our constant term, which is the negative 18. Again, if we replaced x with a value of 0, all other terms would nullify, and we'd be left with just 0 minus 18. At this point, we'll shift to our graphing calculator and have a look to see what the x-intercepts are and to find the range. I assume that by this point you're comfortable with the operation of second calc 0. I note again that the negative 3 x-intercept has a bounce, which is to say what we'll later call a multiplicity of 2, um, but that means it's effectively like having two intercepts in one, and that's why we have 3 instead of 4 here. Now in order to find the maximum height of the graph, you just have to understand that it is a maximum. Uh, once we've done that, it's you know second calc option four, and put the cursor left of and right of the maximum point. So here we report our range as being all values of y less than or equal to 5.12, and that y is an element of the real numbers. A lot of students misinterpret the direction of sketch to mean just draw something very, very vague. You should certainly be indicating your key points. This includes x-intercepts, the y-intercept. You should make sure that you have arrowheads on the end of your graph showing that it continues to negative or in some cases positive infinity. And you should also label any absolute maximum point or minimum point. Uh, here, you could potentially label that local minimum, but uh, it's not entirely necessary. 